Hey everybody and welcome back and in this video we are going to look at how to edit the main menu screen which is probably one that a lot of you have been waiting for. So let's dive right into the code. First thing we want to do is go into our screens.rpy file and we want to go down. Let's just type in main. As we can see we've got main so that's the navigation menu there and the main menu okay so let's have a look at what we've got screen main menu tag menu this ensures that any other menu screen is replaced in other words you can only have one menu up at a time the style prefix is main menu so any styles with main menu at the beginning have main menu like this which means they're relevant to this particular menu and then we add GUI.MainMenuBackground. Now, for those of you who don't know, add is a way in screen language of putting an image on the screen. So what we're doing is we're adding this predefined image to the screen, which is our main menu background. So we'll go back to that in a minute. Frame pass. What this does is just darkens the main menu. Then we come to this point, use navigation. Now this is quite a useful thing to know. We'll, we'll go, we'll do it more later on. But what we're saying is that there's another screen that's been defined and we want to use that. And it's called navigation and it's the menu that's defined just above this screen. If GUI show name, then we're gonna show the main menu's title and the main menu's version, which is the text that appears in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So if we were to go and run our project, we'll give that a second to run. As you can see, Tutorials with Thunley version 1.0 there. So this is all defined in the main menu screen, but this is our navigation menu. So before we do anything else, let's close this down. And we've got some styles defined here. So we've got the main menu frame, which is 420 pixels wide, and it fills the screen vertically, like so. We could change the Y size to make it a fixed size. And then it's got a it's got a background image of overlay main menu png. That's the brown bar on the left hand side on which the navigation menu sits. So if we wanted to change the image background for that, we could uh, change this image here. We could create a new image and define that here. Or if we wanted to, we could simply block it out. And now if we run it again, you'll see. That now the bar is gone. So we've got rid of that image, but we can define that image however we want if we choose to have it. So I'm going to bring that back in. Then we've got the main menu V box. This is the vertical box up on which the uh, navigation menu sits. So we're saying it's on not the, main, the navigation menu, sorry, the, uh, the text to the right hand side. So you've got the X aligner set to the right hand side of the screen. The Y line is set to the bottom, so we've got a V box that's set to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's got a maximum size of 1200 pixels. So essentially, the title of our game can only be two thirds of the screen wide. Then we're setting the text properties like so. But let's just jump in and we will make some changes. So, what we need want to do is first we're going to look at the link. So, we'll say use navigation. So, we come up here to our navigation menu and let's see what we've got here. So we've got style prefix navigation. We've got our X position, GUI navigation X position. So we can actually change where that menu appears in the screen by changing this. What we can do is we can have that set to different variables, depend, different values dependent on which menu we're in. So for example, you can see here we've found, we've got a declaration that says if main menu, then we have the start button. So what's to say that we can't say if main menu x pause let's just move it across to 400 pixels and then we'll say else there so if it's not the main menu then the menu will be in the same position it should be in all the time so let's see what happens now that I've moved that across to 400 pixels Oh, that's, that's not screen code, that's silly me. Let's just remove that. We don't need that in there anyway. We can just get rid of that and paste it in there. If main menu, 
XPAR is 400. Let's see if that works. There you go. And if we were to start the game and now come back in, you can see the menu still appears in the right place in the other menus. So there you go. We'll close that down like so. So you don't need an else statement. You just have to put the declaration after the value is set. We just reset it like so. So let's have a look at what we've got in our main menu and see if there's any adjustments that we can make. So obviously we need to be able to start a new game. That's a, that's a given. But let's say we're playing an RPG that we don't really want people to be able to mess around with travel back in time and so on and so forth um, or you just don't want such a cluttered menu one of the first things that you can get rid of is history now we're just going to comment it out for the sake of this tutorial but you can delete it if you want if you know that you're never going to need that you just delete it so you, they, yes they obviously want to be able to save the game they are obviously want to, going to want to be able to load the game preferences uh, in a Rempi game, to be honest, preference isn't a big deal. Um, you know, they're gonna either play it in full screen or they're not. If they're not, if they don't want music, you can always give them a music on/off button, um, and they can adjust the volume of their speakers and so on and so forth. So there's not much in the preferences that, if you're designing anything other than a really basic, basic visual novel, that they're gonna want to be able to access anyway. So if not in main menu, then we're provided with a link of a main menu. Now to me, this seems like it's in a very peculiar place because it's halfway down the menu. If you're not in the main menu and you want to go back to the main menu, that link should be at the top. So let's move that. Let's get rid of that completely. We're going to control X that and we're going to bring this right up to the top. If main menu, else, like so. So we're going to say we don't need that anymore because if it's not in the main menu then it, we're saying that. So we'll, we'll put that in there like so. Now the very top link for the menu when we're in game is going to be main menu. Then it'll be saved. Then it'll be load. About to me that's a completely irrelevant option because all it does is gives you a chance to put some text in. But you can do that elsewhere. So in fact I'm so sure that I don't need that. I'm just going to delete it like so help again there's no need for that you can always put in a tutorial which is what most games do these days so we've made some quite significant changes here to that menu already with very little effort so i've saved it and i'm going to run it and we're going to have a look now bearing in mind that we've still got some wacky stuff going on here where i've changed the exposition so all we've got at the moment is start load and quit makes much more sense there's much less faffing go to start we open up our menu now we've got a main menu option we've got a save load and quit we haven't got any of the other gubbins as you can see our quick menu is still a bit funky where we changed that to a v box um, so we've made some some pretty weird and wonderful changes here but it's uh it's all the name of fun so that's really all there is to it in editing the uh, the main menu. I mean, if we wanted to change the position of the the the, uh, the box with the text in it, we could come along here. So we've got a V box here. So main menu V box X align X offset, so on and so forth. So let's say that we wanted to change the position of this. We wanted to put to the top of the screen. Just change the Y align to zero zero. And when we run our game. it's up here and obviously we've got a weird and wonderful x offset which we need to change so we change the y offset and let's just comment that out so that you can see what difference it makes we'll run that again there you go now you can see the text appears nicely in the top right hand corner so that's literally all there is to manipulating where that appears um, that's really all there is to it so thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully I found it useful. If you do have been enjoying these tutorial videos, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. I always appreciate knowing that I'm doing a good job. So see you next time. Goodbye.